Leviticus Chapter 6 The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, Give these orders to Aaron and his sons. This is the ritual for Holocaust, that is, the Holocaust that stays on the altar brazier all night until morning and is consumed by the altar fire. The priest is to put on his linen tunic and cover his body with linen. Then he must remove the ashes of the fat of the sacrifice consumed by the altar fire and place them at the side of the altar. Then he is to take off his clothes and put on others and carry the ashes to some place that is clean, outside the camp. The fire that consumes the holocaust on the altar must not be allowed to go out. Every morning the priest must make it up with wood. He is to arrange the holocaust on it and burn the fat from the communion sacrifices. An undying fire is always to burn on the altar. It must not go out. This is the ritual for the oblation. One of the sons of Aaron is to bring it into the presence of the Lord in front of the altar. He is to take a handful of the wheaten flour, with the oil and incense which have been added to it. He must burn the memorial on the altar so that its fragrance will appease the Lord. And after all this has been done, Aaron and his sons shall eat the remainder in the form of unleavened loaves. They are to eat it in a sacred place within the precincts of the tent of meeting. The portion I give them of my burnt offering must not be baked with leaven. It is a most holy portion, like the sacrifice for sin and the sacrifice of reparation. All the males of Aaron's family may eat this portion of the Lord's burnt offering. This is a perpetual law for all your descendants, and everyone who touches it will be consecrated. The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, This is the offering that Aaron and his sons are to make to the Lord on the day of their anointing. One tenth of an ephah of wheat and flour as a perpetual oblation, half in the morning and half in the evening. It must be prepared on the griddle and mixed with oil. You must bring the paste as an oblation in several pieces, offering them as a fragrance that will appease the Lord. The priest among the sons of Aaron who is to be anointed in his place shall do the same. This is a perpetual law. This entire oblation must be burnt for the Lord. Every oblation made by a priest must be a total sacrifice. None of it is to be eaten. The Lord spoke to Moses. He said, Say to Aaron and his sons, This is the ritual for the sacrifice for sin. The victim for the sacrifice is to be immolated before the Lord in the place where the holocausts are immolated. It is a most holy thing. The priest who offers this sacrifice is to eat it. It must be eaten in a holy place within the precincts of the tent of meeting. Everything that touches the flesh of this victim will become consecrated. If any of the blood splashes on clothing, the stain must be cleaned in some holy place. The earthenware vessel in which the meat is cooked must be broken. If a bronze vessel has been used for the cooking, it must be scrubbed and thoroughly rinsed with water. Any male who is a priest may eat it. It is a most holy thing. But no one may eat any of the victims offered for sin, the blood of which has been taken into the tent of meeting to make atonement inside the sanctuary. These must be thrown on the fire. 